Hello, Lola's. So I'm here with baby Katie Lou, and Katie Lou is the Ephraim sculpt by Melanie Hess, and she was painted by myself. She is Mama Little Princess, and um, I'll be so glad when I get her rooted, cause the little hats be sliding off, and you know. I guess just because most, now not all, but most African American babies are born with a head full of hair. That is no joke. And definitely by this size, they usually have even more hair. But um, some babies, African American babies, are born with very fine, fine baby hair. And it's usually, you know, really thin. I thought about rooting her myself, but I'm like, oh, I don't want to mess her up. Um, and they, they have the, like I said, they have the, the, um, very fine hair or, you know, close to being bald. And then when they get older, they end up, that means they usually have a lot of hair, beautiful, nice hair too. So, you know, that, that does happen occasionally, but for the most part, babies are, are, the black babies are usually born with a head full of hair. So I see the new trend is a lot of people are doing airbrushing, even on the reborns now. Um, and so I see that. And I'm wondering if it's much faster to do the, the, the airbrushing. I personally won't ever get into that um, just because I really enjoy the actual painting process. Um, sorry, she had something I was, and I finally got it off. I was like, hey! Um, but yeah, I do enjoy um, the whole painting process. So I have, um, I haven't like taken an interest in doing the actual um, airbrush, but I do see a lot of artists going to that. So I don't know, let me know in the comment section what you think about the airbrush painting versus the actual regular straight painting. Um, if you guys have collected both, um, just curious to hear what other people think of that. Um, one of the other tips that I would like to give some of you guys, because a lot of you guys have contacted me about certain things and your babies, I always recommend if you're just getting started rather it's with reborns or silicone babies that you order one baby at a time let me explain if you're getting a custom done by an artist i know the whole thing is let me get my spot let me get in but you want to experience that first baby in person before you start another order that way you know what their work look like in person versus the camera you know what you do like that they do and what they don't like what they do so when you get your next custom from them you can say hey i really love the way you do blah 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 can you do the next baby this way or you can say I really love, it's very important that you tell them what you love, I really love, you know, the way you do blah, blah, blah. On the next baby, can we try doing a little less of this or a little more of that? And that way, you don't end up with two babies that are certain things that are going to drive you nuts about the artist's work. And that helps the artist as well learn your likes and dislikes. And in the future, you have a great relationship business relationship with that artist because now you communicate it in a way that have helped them learn your style more also let them know what it is that they're doing right that people absolutely love so it helps the artist grow um it's all about the way that you communicate with artists i do believe that although we speak all the time about how you know you shouldn't give artists directives. You shouldn't, you know, you know, beat artists down and this, that, and the other. I feel like if an artist is doing customs, they are prepared to take orders, okay? 
So a lot of these artists that do customs all the time, they are mentally prepared. They have to be. Um, I think what bothers them is once you say what you want and know what you want, don't keep changing your order all throughout the whole process. Oh yeah, remember I said do blue eyes, can we do green? Oh, remember I said I want to thick eyebrows, can we do thin? Oh, you know, I wanted the dark, but let's just go light. You know, all that stuff. I mean, you start confusing the order. You start, you know, you start, the, the artists start getting edgy. Okay, she don't trust my work. Oh, I saw the way you did such and such baby and that you posted. Can you do my baby like this? And can you do that? And by the time you get through, you've dr driven the artist crazy. But if you start out in the beginning, knowing exactly what you want, saying, hey, and I always throw this out there. I say, listen, if I give a suggestion that you feel is not going to look right at any given point, let me know. And then, you know, just you make the executive decision because you're looking at the baby, not me. And I just want a baby to look very realistic and a natural look. So that gives the artist a little bit of control of the creative flow. And it's like, okay, I know this mommy wanted green eyes, but this skin tone ain't popping with those green eyes. Maybe we need to do blue. And my battery is about to die, go figure. But yeah, so let's talk about this a little bit more later. If you guys want to hear more of this type of conversation about building relationships with your artists, doing customs, Please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, get your merch, join the chatterbox. We'll talk later because my video is going to die on you guys. Sorry.